We have all found from experience that an electromagnetic wave such as light can transport energy and deliver it onto any object the light falls on. The rate of energy transfer per unit area is called the pointing vector that we show with a capital S. The magnitude of the pointing vector is the rate at which energy is transported divided by the area. And we know that rate of energy transfer is power. So the size of the pointing vector is the instantaneous power divided by the area. That gives units for the vector of watts per square meter. The direction of the vector is just the direction the wave is traveling. Mathematically, we say that S is 1 over mu naught E curl B. So curl, showed by the cross there, is also called the cross product, and it is a way of multiplying two vectors. You've already used the dot product of two vectors, which would be E times B times cos theta, and that gives a scalar product, but this cross product is a vector product, and it is the magnitude of the first vector times the magnitude of the second times sine theta, where theta is the angle between them. Now for electric and magnetic fields, we know that the angle between them is 90 degrees. So the size of the pointing vector S is just E times B at any moment. Now since cross product is a vector product, it has a direction. And the direction is what I've talked to you about a little while ago, where to find the direction we use the right hand grip rule. And so in this case, if we're finding the direction of S, and S is E curl B, this is where we're going to point our fingers upwards. So we start with our right hand, point our fingers upwards in the direction of E, and then let them curl in the direction of B. Then you should find your thumb pointing in the direction of S, as shown in that diagram. And so that thumb is showing you the direction that the wave is traveling. So when you're finding the curl of two vectors, it matters which one of them comes first, because using your right hand again, you would see that if you did B curl E, and you started with your fingers pointing sort of outwards from the screen and let them curl in the direction of E, your thumb would now be pointing in the opposite direction.